And our three news weather team is looking toward next week with the possibility of Arctic air working south and the possibility of freezing temps in the coastal bend. Meteorologist Kristen Walla is here now with a look at one of the potential factors which could play a key role in that colder forecast. Kristen. Hey there, Mike and Leslie. This is still a week out, so a little bit of detail hammering out needs to happen. But heading into next week's forecast, we're looking at a teleconnection, which is when weather in one part of the world influences weather in another part of the world. And you're probably already familiar with one, El Nino. But the specific teleconnection we're currently watching is called the Arctic Oscillation, and it has to do with the strength of the polar jet stream over the northern latitudes. So here's what that looks like. The Arctic Oscillation has positive and negative phases. During a positive phase, upper level polar winds are strong, reducing the likelihood of Arctic air spilling south. Now, during a negative phase, the polar winds around the Arctic weaken, making the polar jet stream more wavy with north and south movement. This allows cold air masses to break free from the polar region and move southward. The Arctic Oscillation is trending towards a negative phase heading into next week. Now, this doesn't guarantee that we see freezing temperatures next week, but it does ever so slightly increase our confidence on the potential for colder temperatures heading into next week. We see this reflected in the six to 10 day temperature outlook, which gives a 60 to 70% chance for below normal temperatures across the coastal bend as we head into late next week. Now the main question it's going to be on how far south freezing temperatures are able to work. And again, details they are not set in stone yet, but this is something that's on our radar and we're going to be watching forecast models for a couple of things in the coming days, namely model agreement and forecast temperature trends. This is still a week away and not all forecast models are quite on board with these aggressive forecast temperatures. So confidence in a freeze heading into next Thursday, it's relatively low at this point.